<laughs> okay, the, the difference between our boards and everyone else uh, when it comes to volume is, first off is our outline of the board. Mm -hmm. And the way we figure out outline is by, of course, always surfing the board first. So we're out there and using it and testing it. And then we take the rocker, which is very important on how the bottom curve is. So it's gliding across the water and it's releasing water when we're surfing. Also, the where we have our V in the tail and the flat spot in the middle where we stand, all of that's important and it's all blending together. So, um, you know, with the, the rocker, the outline, and then the foil, how it goes from the bulk of the volume where you stand and we foil it out to the tail is thin. This is something else that blend it all together is why our boards work so much better and, and different from everybody is we, we try and get stability for paddling and at the same time we're trying to get it to where it'll turn easily when you're surfing so you can stand comfortably and still surf well and it's the best of both worlds that's always the goal of, of what we're trying to do is a blend of everything to work well it paddles well surfs well that's what it's all about. And the difference between the all rounder and ripper for the foil or okay, the, the shape? The ripper is a little bit more aggressive rocker, mm -hmm. so it has a little more rocker. Um, but what we've been able to do, the ripper would be boards like this right here. And you can see where in the nose we have more rocker. And what it does is it allows the board to come down a steeper wave, a faster wave, and turn in a steeper section without mm -hmm. the nose catching. So we pull away a lot of volume in the nose and we still keep good volume through the center and then we have it foiled out even thinner in the tail. It has a little more aggressive bottom so there's more curve but um, as the wave gets steeper the board fits better so it fits in the wave and you can carve a turn while it's steep and starting to get really hollow. And that's mainly what the rippers are for. Although a lot of people like the Ripper in all kinds of waves, it's mainly meant for waves that are a little steeper and faster. Um, you know, that's what we made the Ripper series for. So we have it in 9.3, we have it in 9.6, we have it in 9.8, and we also have a 9.10. And that's the Ripper series that we have right now. We also have a 12-foot gun that is considered a Ripper, but it's 12 feet with a pulled in nose, pulled in tail, and um, you know, so that would complete our Ripper series.